Okay, one is the, let's look at more of the inventory. What's all this? Resources, collectibles, gifts. Dude, there are gifts. Oh boy. Increased friendships. Oh boy. And this is game settings. Heroes. Okay, let's talk to peeps. Magic, who I want. Yo, it's good to see you. I want to talk to Magic. Okay. Stay in your lane. Stay in your lane. <laughs> oh my goodness. At least they don't have me stationed in some musty old dungeon like Strange and Stark. I too was recruited as a child into a calling of power and violence. So far, it has worked out well for me. I too was recruited as a child into a calling of power and violence. Oh my goodness, this so is far, how it works? It has worked out well for me. Is that a select three-er? At least they don't have me stationed in some musty old dungeon like Strange and Stark. With all these big names in here, maybe we should sell tickets. Ooh. Could finally upgrade the TV to 4K. Ooh, 4K is powerful. I, I wonder if you ever ran into any of my predecessors back in the day. We um uh, tend to stand out. I, I wonder if you ever ran into any of my predecessors back in the day. We um uh, tend to stand out. I know, I know who Ichigo Kurosaki is. Kibasa Hunter. Ah. Isn't that? Do you have questions, Kibasa? I used to watch Spanish TV for fun. You're going you? to no language. Fine, Nico, if you want attention. I mean, technically, you were here first, but don't expect any special treatment. Caretaker will have you mopping the floors and hauling trash whether you're two or two hundred. Ooh, the sass. Caretaker's home for wayward sorcerers, scientists, and slayers. Meh, nah, sounds like something Doctor Strange would come up with. It's a very talkative goth girl. I mean, technically, you were here first, but don't expect any special treatment. Caretaker will have you mopping the floors and hauling trash whether you're two or two hundred. Well, everybody's level three. I like level two. What the heck? No signs of muscle atrophy. You seem pretty healthy for a reanimated corpse. You sure <laughs> you're not a time-traveling robot? Uh, did someone give you a cup of coffee at least? I know I'm useless in the morning without a little boost. We could probably have one of these witches or warlocks magic you over a barista. No signs of muscle atrophy. You seem pretty healthy for a reanimated corpse. You sure you're not a time-traveling robot? Yeah, muscle atrophy sucks. I can personally contest that. Good to see you, Hunter. <laughs> we shipped a Marvel. Blade Reader's talking about actually going to do the mission. I imagine Caretaker will have a hard time putting you at risk so soon after your awakening, but I doubt Lilith will leave her much of a choice. Unfortunately, time is of the essence, otherwise I'd gladly offer to walk you through some of the more pivotal events that have changed the world since you last saw it. I imagine Caretaker will have a hard time putting you at risk so soon after your awakening, but I doubt Lilith will leave her much of a choice. I give it about five minutes before Tony starts in with his ye old joke material. Sorry, Hunter. Never should have taken him to medieval times. It's almost impossible to imagine the horror, the atrocities committed on these grounds all those years ago. Then again, we are less than 20 miles from Fenway Park. They turn. Sorry. Hope I didn't hurt you. Hunter? Oh. You've definitely hurt me because I've imprinted it as you use your my mouth. I give it about five <laughs> minutes before canyon. Tony starts in with his ye old joke material. <laughs> Sorry, Hunter. Uh, anyway. Never should have taken him to medieval times. How much time is left in this video? Well, so plenty. It's almost impossible to imagine the horror, the well, atrocities committed on these grounds all those years ago. We don't have much to say. We are less than 20 miles from Fenway Park. The hunter stalks its prey. T Tony does have his moments. Now this thing, what about this empty art? Oh well, I'll figure the empty art later. 
I could worry about that one. Actually. Yeah, see, see, I'm not gonna want to move anything because it might be permanent. So I want to get all the pieces first, then decide that. So. But I don't think the game's opened up to that quite yet. And but you guys are probably like insanely eager to see the story continue. I would assume. I actually care about like level design, so I would like seeing that. That's why I was hugging the walls it. everywhere. They're all the secrets. Is Wait, so Blade's only one? Dude, they did what? They're saying there are three. Blade is only one. No, well, wait, different. Strange is one. What? What's shaking? Marvel's two. Huh? Well, I'm going to have to take these two to level them up then, but we'll see. It, it makes everybody levels this, to the same thing like the X-Men. Dude, magic and freaking... Hmm, the legend walks among us. Nico's outfits are legendary. And of course, Captain Marvel. They're so fashionable. Although they're like magic books, I'd like even more than that one. Okay, Blade. My totally not imprinted as my father, because you're the first first male I really looked at, because I was looking at Captain Marvel and the other <laughs> The first female I imprint as. Or whatever you want to identify as. Dave Walker. <laughs> it's his canon. Let's see how long you stay above ground this time. Just remember, if it came down to it, your blood would make a mighty fine vintage. If I were you, I'd probably be looking for a hot shower after spending 300 years in a tomb. Dude, he has three lines. He played it the most dialogue. Heck yeah. Let's see how long you stay above ground this time. Dude, he has tons of lines. Is that because actually in my team? If I were you, I'd probably be looking for a hot shower after spending 300 years in a tomb. Okay, now, now let's do the... Uh... The smart thing is we're about to load into a mission. Let's look at what Blade's skills are, and our own skills. Quick. Quick. Dude, he's just gonna ooze you dude down? That's awesome. Strike with the sword. Love it. It chains into two. Draw one card, the next... Um, Blade card. Draw one Blade card, the next two Blade cards. Apply Bleed. Nice. Stake. 20. Stake is 20 damage? These are just 5? Stake is 20 damage? Whoa, that's huge. I see, and then you can edit your deck. Wait, the deck is only 8 cards? Oh, that's actually might be nice. That's good consistency. Oh, wait, wait, did I not look at myself? What are my powers? I have Quick Slash, Quick Slash. I'm like a sword duelist? No, I want to be like game, but what the heck? You have four seals. You can't control this. Whip. Forceful knockback in any direction. Discard a random card. Wait, do I... I assume they discard the card, not me? With enemies have cards too? Interesting. Profile Hunter. Single target damage. With their profile supporting allies. Mini ability options. Ooh, I choose my alignment. Oh, we're definitely going light. Light side for the force. Biography. Despite the um, precepts of her ancient race, Lilith gave birth to a forbidden child known only as the Hunter. After consorting with an otherwise ordinary human, faced with an uncertain future, Caretaker began training the hunter as a warrior from an early age. Now as an unlikely descendant of the blood, the hunter is imbued with unique abilities, not easily matched by the forces of darkness. Excelsior! <laughs> Some Stanley Excelsior. How to play. By choosing blades from three distinct branches of light, dark, or power, the hunter can be a strong support hero, or a devastating damage dealer, or nearly anything in between. Show more. Hunter, how to play. By choosing abilities from three district branches of light, dark, or power, the hunter can be a strong support hero, a devastating damage dealer, or nearly anything in between. Is this the same thing I just read? Uh, ability branches. The hunter has more um, abilities to choose from than other heroes. These abilities are divided into branches, like dark and power. Dude, is power like a um, neutral? Dude, power might be interesting. Abilities offer squad support through healing and he heroism generation. Although, honestly, you want to go light healer if this is a game that I've injured injuries at all. But we'll see, because your heals have to be beating the DPS. 
the damage per second or the damage dealt to you, or else you're wasting your turn with it. If your damage could be doing more DPS to take the guy out. It's just overall turn ebb and flow of battle. Um, light ab Okay, let's see what it says about it. Light abilities offer squad support through healing and heroism gener generation. Dark abilities damage or control the hunter's enemies often at the cost of the hunter or their allies. Oh, it's like going to be draining their life, I think, to do a damage output. Might be worth it. So you drain them, heal them, drain them, heal them. Interesting. The power branch makes the hunter a more well-rounded fighter, offering offensive and defensive abilities. The power branch might be more swords or whatever. That I might like. It's kind of annoying that I can't choose how this character is made. I'm, I legit hope I can leave him behind and just bring... Uh, and just get Wolverine, and have freaking Wolverine, um, Scarlet Witch, and Magic. That's going to be my favorite team. Although, hopefully, they'll be a good team together. But we'll find out. And, uh... Okay. Just had to take a second. I heal. I heal a second. Love that song. Okay, the hunter can be specialized in single branch or pick and choose abilities from every branch to customize how the hunter performs in combat. Passive abilities callers. Passive abilities colon callers. The hunter will unlock new callers over the course of the game. Each caller has a powerful ability that will be triggered if the hunter plays abilities of a certain type, i.e. play three light cards or play a light, dark, and power card in any order. Ooh, very cool. Passive Ability Suits The Hunter will unlock many new suits over the course of the game. These suits also have powerful passive abilities, but these passives can be swapped at any time, no matter which suit the Hunter is wearing. Yeah, how do I switch my costumes to my peeps? Light and dark colors, colors, oh, colors, oh my goodness, colors, are more effective the more light or dark ability cards you have equipped in the Hunter's combat deck. Like other heroes, the hunter cannot be injured in combat. Oh, it's like the battle tech. Yeah, I think that was a battle tech game. Where the main guy could never be injured. That was interesting. Or killed anyway. Um, As the hunter levels up, lower level heroes will also be auto leveled. So as to not fall behind. Dude, that's great. That's exactly how the game should be. Shout out to them for that. Hopefully that's actually going to be, like, true. Um, so that's that screen. That's that. Let's check out Blade. Let's see what Blade's got going on. Let's see about his profile. Single target damage, chain abilities, damage over time. Oh, he's DOT. NYC Defender. Tactics, Midnight Suns, Eric Brooks. He's just got chaos and stuff, make him bleed. Biography. After his mother was attacked by a vampire during childbirth, Eric Brooks, now known as Blade, was born a damn bear. Half man, half vampire. A fearsome Vigilante, stories of the Daywalker haunt his enemies as Blade relentlessly pursues vampires wherever they may hide. Yeah, they have a backup story on him too. In the uh, shorts. Which is just on their YouTube. Marvel Midnight Suns YouTube. Well, he has a playlist. Well, he offer, well, he prefers for the prequels. While he prefers to work alone, Blade has been known to work with like-minded allies from time to time. Blade excels at dealing damage and essentially damage over time through his ability to apply the bleeding status to his targets. Blade, how to play. Blade excels at dealing damage and can inc increase the damage even further when he applies the bleeding status to his targets. Bleeding can deal significant damage by applying the, the bleeding status to his targets. A bleeding enemy will continue to take damage over multiple turns. This is especially effective against high health enemies. Blade's later abilities further capitalize on enemies with the bleeding status, making Blade an even more effective damage dealer. Squad Synergy. 
While Blade is effective at dealing damage, he lacks any powerful squad support abilities. He also lacks abilities that can reposition enemies through knockback or other means. Blade pairs well with support heroes that can protect and buff him, while he applies damage to targets both large and small. Passive ability, cold-blooded. As the hunter's friendship with Blade has increased, Blade has increased chance to apply bleeding to any target he damages with one of his abilities. Tips, Blade's chain abilities let him apply bleeding to numerous targets with a single ability. Wait, did, whoa, he an AoE bleeding effect? Greatly increasing his damage output, that's incredible. Normally you can't do that in games. Because I play quite a few of these style games. A lot of they're not turn based per se, but they're like uh, top down, isometric. Okay, let's explain what he's all about. Ah, oh, I just like the deep war. So, so we take a, a look at that. Let's get. Anyway, so start the first mission then. Prophecies be damned! It's good to see that face again. You look like it was yesterday. And you look older. Wow, what a jerk. You don't say that to someone. Ha <laughs> ha! My character's such a jerk. How long was I in that? What's that weird sir? lighting effect over the screen right now? No more than a few centuries. You were missed. Centuries? And what of Lilith? Fallen by your hand. Until now. <clears throat> yeah, so speaking of Lilith. Tony? What? The kid's literally speaking of Lilith. Tony. That's my name. Tony. That's uh Carol and Dr. Spooky over there. Here to help. Help with what exactly? Oh, I don't know. Throwing the magic amulet into the volcano? <sighs> Smiting the dragon mother? You tell us, kid. You are the Chosen one, after all. Do you recall anything of that last encounter, child? There was... a voice. The rest is... hazy. Oh, a voice. That's it? A voice? That's what we have to go on? Results of your long crypt sleep, most likely. A minor inconvenience. Everything required to restore those memories is contained within my sanctum. I will simply alert Wanda to prepare the necessary rituals. Yeah, let me have Wanda on my team again. Why are you doing me dirty? What? Straight to voicemail? Some sorcerer supreme. Must be <laughs> mystical interference caused by this little pocket dimension of yours. Perhaps Agatha can help. Allow me. A lot of... Dude, is Agatha Ag the one that gave him the dark hole? The bad guy. Whoa, what kind of network you running there? The all-seeing eye of Ereshkigal, who so judges, there's a weird bound filter. to enchanted Babylonian soul glass. We just call it the mirror table. Wanda! The dark portal, pushing against the wards. Steven, where are you? She is. That's impossible. Nothing on Earth could possibly affect those wards. Wanda's in trouble. Wanda is trouble. I'll go. You'll need my help, of course. Then let us make haste, Dr. Spooky. Our hunt begins now. Dr. Spooky? He shows... He says his quips. That's so rude. What the hell? Medieval people aren't rude. He's a real ale. We must go now, and then I still have to click the mission. It's called Sanctum Symbiotum. Gamma Coil is the reward. Common. It's in New York City. Heck yeah. With everything going on right now, we simply cannot afford to lose contact with the Sanctum or Wanda. Dude, required heroes. It requires you to bring heroes. I can't even bring magic into this. Game. Still tutorial railroady. The, san the Sanctum Sanctorum contains many powerful artifacts which must be protected. Doctor Strange needs to return to the Sanctum to find Scarlet Witch and stabilize the wards.
Dude, that's awesome. The question is, dude, I feel like I should break this part up. Because if someone actually wants to see this mission, uh, I'm just going to break this part up. Thanks so much for watching. I hope someone liked what you saw. Please hit the like button, subscribe, and the notification bell if you'd like to see more content like this. And as always, may your tail eternally be retold. You can pause the video to sub, like, or whatever. Uh, what people would you look, would, uh, you bring on your team? What heroes? I'd be really interested, interested to see. I'd rather have, I'd, I'd wish I'd had, um, like, take out the, the main hero and bring freaking Wolverine, Magic, and, um, Wolverine, Magic, and Scarlet Witch. Which we're going to go fine. So hopefully that would probably be the team I would like the most. Although freaking Blade is incredibly cool. So I'm super hyped to, to play him. There's the upside to being for required heroes. Like I like all these heroes. So I'm going to have fun with them. Uh, it's going to be cool. I I'd like the powers. Dude, Doctor Strange made really cool with that axe he can spawn. Normally he has a sword. So, so that was neat. Him having an axe. And then my ideal ideal team would of course be Gambit, Rogue, and Emma Frost. Because I really like mutants. But as far as I know... None of them are in this game. Although Storm is going to come. So yeah, Storm is definitely making the team in the DLC. But I believe that's next month and the month after. I don't remember. It's like winter for sure. Uh, nearing spring probably. Midwinter. Uh, thanks so much for watching. And later. May your tail eternally be retold. Like Marvel itself. Later.